Hello, welcome to Bad Food Blog. And um, one of my favorite kitchen appliances is this Tassimo coffee machine. Because it's easy, it's simple to use, and it gives you hassle-free, good tasting coffee. But the little capsules that go into it are incredibly wasteful. There's mm, a few grams of coffee in here and double that weight in plastic, which is single-use plastic, which then goes in the bin and is not recyclable. Um, it doesn't go in the recycle place, it doesn't claim to be recyclable, and it essentially has a barcode on it. And this has been kind of bugging me for a while, and I came up with a solution, which I found online, which is this, which is a reusable coffee capsule. Whoa, something fell out of it. Did you, did you hear that? Oh, okay. The bag had a metal spoon in it. I didn't see that. I was like, what was that noise? The bag's got this spoon in it. You see that? Cool. I'm guessing that's for pressing down the coffee. Mm, pretty cool, huh? Okay, we'll leave that there for now. So this is a refillable capsule. And I imagine the first thing I'm gonna have to do, one times one. So one spoon, one capsule, and one little cleaning brush. So there may have been a cleaning brush that also fell out, which I'll have to go and find in a minute as well. Unless the cleaning brush is here in the box. Nope, the cleaning brush is here in the box. Okay. Reusable coffee capsule. So silicon. Coffee powder, not included. BPA-free plastic. So basically, I can refill my own coffee capsule. And I have some really nice ground coffee, uh, which I have already over there. Um, I already have one of these, which is the, uh, 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 I don't know what that is, coffee measuring thing. So, okay, put the coffee in. Do not exceed the maximum center point. Put the thing on and put it in the machine. It's not really very difficult. Coffee in, in machine use. Step one, two, three. Nice and easy. I'm gonna go wash this up because I don't wanna be using any of this as it's come from the factory. Here's the thing itself. There's the lid. Pop that on with coffee in that. Out comes coffee. That sounds nice and relatively simple, right? That's interesting. Hmm. Yes, you don't want the coffee going back in the machine and you don't want the coffee going out. So the coffee, the hot water comes in here, down there, through this mesh and out. And in the meantime, it's gone through the coffee. So I'm gonna go wash this out and then we're gonna try filling it. So that was very easy to wash out. No problems there at all. Absolutely pleased with that. Now, uh, yeah, my normal coffee, you know, filler is quite large. So let's use their one. I'm gonna put some coffee in here. I think I'm gonna fill it up to, this is the max level line. It has a little thing that says max. I don't know if you can see that there. So I've got to fill it up to that. This is a uh, very nice coffee, by the way. Oh, it's just going to take two level scoops of this. Oh no, see, three level scoops. And then I'm tapping it down. Ah, oh, there we go. I mean, that was very simple. And I imagine washing up is going to be equally as simple. Um, I guess I put the lid on now, turn the machine on, that's easy as well. I need a coffee cup, I place one of these nice coffee cups underneath. Put this in the machine with the tab facing out so the barcode can be read, there's a little barcode reader here. So I put that in the machine like that and close the lid. And away we go. See what happens. Put the lid on the coffee so it doesn't get stale. 
Oh, we got noise. We got sound. Nothing has exploded yet. That's it boiling the water and putting it under up to 10 bars of pressure. This is a really good. Oh, wow. Coffee. Yay. <laughs> Max is here, by the way. He's watching. You can't have oh. coffee. He's not allowed coffee, see? So coffee's pointless for Wait you. Wait a minute. Can we buy one of those so I can put hot cocoa in it? So I can put cocoa powder in it? What's the point in that? You might as well just pour cocoa powder over water. Yeah, but I want to water. I want, I don't want to microwave it. Oh, and I push this button. I'm pushing this button because I want more water, right? So that's, that gives you an idea of the pressure and the steam going on in there. This button is to yeah. extend it. So it's a hundred and... Oh, see, the water is now coming out clear. So we've actually and this was espresso coffee so we've actually managed to um i think it's kind of big no we're not doing that now no i'm just saying i'm just say, saying that i don't want to put this in hmm, a glass okay. of milk and then put it in the oh you can do that okay so what i need to do now is grab me the milk from the fridge Okay. You grab me the milk from the fridge. I'm gonna get a spoon and the sugar, and I'm gonna make sure to see what this tastes like. So first of all, we need to see what color it's gonna come out. Now I'm gonna put the normal amount of milk I put in, and yeah, this milk bottle does says you use this one. That's not a bad color for that amount of milk. That's perfectly acceptable. Wow. See, color's pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow, that's... Hmm. Well, it does taste like this coffee. It's not amazing, but it's definitely a cup of coffee. Hmm. This is, this is quite a dark roast. Um, it's a French roast. No, it's an Italian coffee. It's Lavazza or whatever it is. Um, it's I've, I've got rid of the packet now. Oh, see, that was still under pressure. Let's see what's happened in here afterwards, shall we? It turned to liquid. No, look, it's all packed down. You see that? And it's all, the water's spongy. all come through there. And, oh, look, the water found a way to come through. And that's all spongy. Yeah, because it's all been sort of Treat it as. Yeah. You should have used this coffee. What I should have done is make sure. No, that's instant coffee. Take that oh, away. I, so, I, I should have packed it down more in the corners here because what it looks like it did is it kind of packed everything down and found a way for the water to go round the coffee. So this would have been stronger if I had packed it better. This coffee granules, as you can see, looks pretty. It's been steamed, it's very, very hot, but I would say that not all of it's been done, but I think that's me not packing it properly. So I will do another cup and pack it and I'll film it again. But that's it for now. I will, I'll do another cup in the morning because I don't want two cups of coffee this evening. So I'll stop filming now. So we'll have a look at cup two. So here we go for try number two. So I had to wash it out and all this silicon stuff comes apart and you can sort of Put it back together like this and this is really fiddly actually yeah so you can wash it very there we go quite effectively and last time if you sort of remember we had sort of tracks made in that part so i'm going to try and avoid that trap this time by packing the coffee in a bit better so let's carry on with that this is the next morning of course and i'm having coffee because it's morning and i want coffee because i am not awake so there we go look i've overfilled it a little bit and when i pack it down this time huh? oh gotta make sure i don't overfill it over the overfill line 
But what I want to do is make sure that those corners are well packed with coffee. I don't know, have I got too much coffee in there? Maybe I have. Get it down in those corners. That's better. It's a little bit of hassle for this, but I imagine as I get used to it, I'm gonna get quicker. I guess the whole thing's kind of held together by the cover, so I'm not too worried about packing it down too firmly, because it only needs to sort of sit there. And then what I think I need to do is I think I need to tap it when it's in that position. <clears throat> there we go. Oops. Because it's not poking a hole in it. I don't really mind if I do it a couple of times. It's not like the foil one where you're poking a hole in it and then you're going away and you've broken the seal. Put the lid on the coffee and let's go for it. Here it goes again. Well, there we go, nice dark looking coffee coming out. You see we've got water escaping from the top here, which has had no coffee going through it, that's clear. So there's something weird going on there. But unlike last time, as you see, we don't have exactly completely clear water coming out. Oh, it's turning clear slowly. But it's still not completely clear like last time. You still get that with the coffee pots when you push the extra water button. Hmm, but that appears to have worked again. So reusable, definitely. I've had to show it being used twice. Oh. Let's have a look at what we've got with going on with the coffee itself. Oh, darker than last time. Yeah, packing the coffee in the tighter has made it um, stronger. One spoon of brown sugar and see what it tastes like. I guess this spoon that came with it, this additional one, is for packing the coffee down, but I was using my finger, so. Mm, there we go. Let's taste it. Um, it's coffee, and that's stronger than yesterday, definitely. Mmm. Interesting. It tastes exactly like it should, and it's 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 a good style of coffee, definitely. Mmm. Yeah. This is, oh my God, it's exploded. Oh my God. Oh, too much coffee. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I would say, so I put too much coffee in that time. The coffee's expanded and blown the seal out on the gasket here and got coffee all over the inside of the machine. And look, it's forced forced coffee into 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 underneath the filter as well. Ah damn. Okay. So I've got to not overfill it as well. And if you can see all that, look at that, see? Coffee grinds everywhere all over the inside of the machine. I'm gonna have to clean the whole thing out. Ah damn. So obviously <clears throat> there's a bit of a learning curve on this. Underfill, don't overfill. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that all out properly, but 
now we know one of the limitations of it definitely and again it's made channels in here you know it's boiled away the coffee and made channels and doesn't look like it's completely used all of the coffee <clears throat> so anyway uh slightly disastrous so do they work yes are they messy yes am i going to try and work out how to use it properly yes um thanks for watching if you like what i do here please like and subscribe and uh, this is a weird video but i do try out food technology just occasionally and coffee is definitely food for me thanks very much bye